In keeping with the spirit of reconciliation, I'd like to acknowledge the traditional custodians of the land on which we gather today, the Yagara and Turtle people. I wish to pay respect to all elders, past, present and emerging, and acknowledge the important role Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people continue to play within our community. As we gather today, we recognise that these lands have always been places of teaching and learning. Please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen and young men of the college, a very warm welcome to today's special ceremony. Today, we formally acknowledge the achievements of those boys who have attained the distinction of gaining an OP1 or 2, and as a consequence, they have been named as academic scholars of the college. 2016. I would now ask all in attendance to stand and join with me in the singing of hymn 19, Tell Out My Soul. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please be seated? 
It is now my great pleasure to invite the college captain for 2017, Ben Carlin, to bring this morning's reading to us. Today's reading comes from Proverbs chapter 4, verses 1 to 7. My children, listen to what your father teaches you. Pay attention and you will have understanding. What I am teaching you is good, so remember it all. When I was only a little boy, my parents' only son, my father would teach me. He would say, remember what I say and never forget it. Do as I say and you will get wisdom and insight. Do not forget or ignore what I say. Do not abandon wisdom and she will protect you. Love her and she will keep you safe. Getting wisdom is the most important thing you can do. Whatever else you get, get insight. Together let us come before God in the strength and power of prayer. Would you join me as we pray? O God, our loving Heavenly Father, you are the author of all life, energy and power. We thank you for the whole array, the wide array of gifts and abilities that you have given to each of us and for the opportunity that we have to use these gifts within the life of this college and in the wider community. O oh God, this morning we celebrate the achievements and example of the young men before us as we acknowledge that all of their gifts come from you. Lord, may we each today not only appreciate how you've gifted us, but it also enable us to realise that you call us to work hard to develop the abilities that we have. Lord Jesus Christ, may the totality of our lives be lived in your life, love and truth as we use the gifts that you have given to build a more just and compassionate world and therefore give you the glory. And we pray these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. PMSA councillors, members of the BBC College Council, Chairman of the OCA, Mr Chris Hartley, Executive Manager of the PMSA, Mr Rob Walker, Headmaster, Mr. Graham MacDonald, Deputy Headmaster, Mr. Kyle Thompson, Head of Teaching and Learning, Mr. Barry Dean, Chaplain, Reverend Graham Cole, Business Manager, Mr. Chris Duffy, Staff of the College, Captain of the College, Ben Carlion, Vice Captain of the College, Patrick Jaffe. Scholars of 2016 of Brisbane Boys College, parents and ladies and gentlemen, Gentlemen of Honour of Brisbane Boys College, a new school of thought. Verses 1 and 24 of Psalm 118. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Academic excellence is the core business of the college. This ceremony, therefore, is an extremely important occasion in the life of the college because it affords us the opportunity of paying tribute to those students from the previous year who gained the distinction of securing an OP1 or an OP2 in their final results. There are animals which run faster and fish that swim better than any of us will ever do. What distinguishes human beings above all creatures on earth is not running or swimming, but our ability to think, to reason and to learn. That is where we excel. And the sole purpose of our presence here today is to honour those who, at the culmination of their school days, have achieved the highest standards of academic excellence. 
both personally and on behalf of the Presbyterian and Methodist Schools Association, the governing body of the college, I heartily congratulate all of the gentlemen scholars of 2016 on their achievements. They've brought honour not only to themselves, but also to the college and the PMSA. The reputations of both for excellence in education have been significantly enhanced by their results, and they provide a shining example for the continuing student body. In the words of William Arthur Ward, one of America's most quoted writers of inspirational maxims, the mediocre teacher tells, the good teacher explains, the superior teacher demonstrates, and the great teacher inspires. I acknowledge and thank all staff, particularly the teaching staff, for their contribution to the academic success of these gentlemen. Without wanting to detract from or diminish in any way that splendid success, on this Mr. MacDonald's 15th and final Scholars' Assembly at BBC, it is fitting the tribute be paid to his unfailing commitment as headmaster to the relentless pursuit of academic excellence. On behalf of the PMSA, I thank you sincerely, Mr. MacDonald. In the words of a Chinese proverb, teachers open the door, but you must enter by yourself. Well done, gentlemen scholars of 2016. Your teachers opened the door, but you entered by yourselves. We are all proud of what you've achieved, and we now wish you every success in your chosen careers. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. McPherson. Well, good morning, colleagues, young men of the college, and a welcome to our special guests to this Scholars' Assembly for 2016. As the Head of Teaching and Learning, it's my privilege to present to you this morning the 2016 Scholars. As I announce each Scholar, I invite them to step forward to receive their Scholars' Certificate from the Headmaster and sign the Scholars' Book. Once done, I will invite you to acknowledge each student. We start the presentation with Timothy Bennett. OP1. Timothy studied for eight years at BBC, first as a gladiator in the junior school and then as a member of Knox House. Timothy is reading for a degree of Bachelor of Advanced Humanities with honours at the University of Queensland. In 2011, 2012, 2013 and 2014 he received academic excellence with Line. In 2015 he received academic excellence with Half Colour and in 2016 academic excellence. Congratulations Timothy. Julian Braybrook, OP1. Julian studied for eight years at BBC, first as a knight in junior school and then as a member of Mackenzie House. Julian is reading for a degree of Doctor of Medicine, MD, at the University of Queensland. In 2012, 2013 and 2014, he received academic excellence with Lyon. In 2015, he received academic excellence with Half Colour and 2016, academic excellence. Congratulations, Julian. Riley Catford, OP1. Riley studied for five years at BBC as a member of Knox House. Riley is reading for a degree in Bachelor of Advanced Finance and Economics with honours at the University of Queensland. In 2012, 2013 and 2014 he received academic excellence with Line. In 2015, academic excellence half colour. And 2016, academic excellence. Congratulations, Riley. Hugh Ceresco, OP1. Hugh studied at BBC for five years as a member of Flynn House. Hugh is reading for a degree of Bachelor of Mathematics, Bachelor of Science at the University of Queensland. In 2012, 2013 and 2014, he received academic excellence with Lyon. 
In 2015, academic excellence with half colour. And 2016, academic excellence. Congratulations to Hugh. <laughs> Shankir Jarevadran, OP1. Shankir studied for six years at BBC as a member of Bertel's House. He is reading for a degree of Bachelor of Engineering with Honours at the University of Queensland. Shankir received in 2012, 2013 and 2014 academic excellence with Lyon. In 2015, academic excellence half colour and 2016, academic excellence. Congratulations, Shankir. Robert Eldridge, OP1. Robert studied for six years at BBC as a member of Knox House. Robert is reading for a degree of Bachelor of Engineering with Honours at the University of Queensland. And he is the recipient of the University of Queensland Academic Excellence Scholarship. In 2011, 2012, 2013 and 2014, Robert received Academic Excellence with Lyon. In 2015, he received Academic Excellence with Half Colour and in 2016, academic excellence. Congratulations, Robert. <laughs> Joseph Froyo, OP1. Joseph studied for five years at BBC as a member of Wesley House. Joseph is reading for a degree of Doctor of Medicine MD at the University of Queensland. In 2012, Joseph received academic excellence. In 2013, academic excellence with Lyon. And in 2014 and 2016, academic excellence. Congratulations, Joseph. <laughs> Michael Gibson, OP1. Michael studied for five years at BBC as a member of Bertel's House. Michael is reading for a degree of Bachelor of Music uh, at the Griffiths University Queensland Conservatorium. And he is the recipient of the Sir Samuel Griffith Scholarship. In 2012, 2013 and 2014, Michael received academic excellence with Lyon. In 2015, academic excellence half colour. And 2016, academic excellence. Congratulations to Michael. <laughs> Dhruv Gohl, OP1. Dhruv studied for five years at BBC as a member of Campbell House. Dhruv is reading for a degree of Bachelor of Commerce, Bachelor of Laws with Honours at the University of Queensland. In 2012, Dhruv received Academic Excellence. 2013, that was Academic Excellence with Line. And in 2014, 2015 and 2016, Academic Excellence. Congratulations, Dhruv. <laughs> Andrew Guan, OP1. Andrew studied for five years at BBC as a member of Bertel's House. Andrew is reading for a degree of Bachelor of Engineering with Honours and Bachelor of Commerce at the University of Queensland. In 2012, 2013 and 2014, he received academic excellence with Line. In 2015, academic excellence, half colour. And 2016, academic excellence. Congratulations to Andrew. Henry Harvey, OP1. Henry studied for six years at BBC as a member of Bertel's House. Henry is reading for a degree of Bachelor of Engineering with Honours at the University of Queensland. Henry received an academic excellence in 2012. Congratulations to Henry. <laughs> William James, OP1. William studied for eight years at BBC, first as a crusader in junior school and then as a member of Mackenzie House. William is uh, reading for a Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Laws with honours at the University of Queensland. In 2011 and 2014, he received academic excellence with Lyon. 2015, academic excellence half colour and 2016, academic excellence. Congratulations to William. Subramanian Kumor, OP1. Subramanian studied for six years at BBC as a member of Weller House. Subramanian is reading for a degree of Bachelor of Advanced Finance and Economics with Honours at the University of Queensland. In 2012, 2013 and 2014, 
Subramanian received academic excellence with line. 2015, academic excellence with half colour. And 2016, academic excellence. Congratulations to Subramanian. Our next scholar cannot be with us today. That's Matthew Owen, who receives, uh, received an OP1. Matthew studied for six years at BBC as a member of Hamilton House. Matthew is reading for a degree of Doctor of Medicine MD at the University of Queensland. In 2012, 2013 and 2014, he received academic excellence with line. In 2015, academic excellence half colour. And 2016, academic excellence. In his absence, could we please congratulate Matthew? Christopher Portway, OP1. Christopher studied for eight years at BBC uh, as a Viking in the junior school and then as a member of Campbell and Rudd House. Christopher is reading for a Bachelor of uh, Commerce um, and Bachelor of Laws with honours at the University of Queensland. In 2011, 2012 and 2013, uh, Christopher received academic excellence. In 2014, academic excellence with line. 2015, academic excellence half colour and 2016 academic excellence. Congratulations, Christopher. <laughs> Benjamin Stanley, OP1. Benjamin studied for five years at BBC as a member of Weller House. Benjamin is reading for a degree in Bachelor of Medical Science at Griffith University. In 2012, Benjamin received academic excellence. In 2013 and 2014, he received academic excellence with line. 2015, academic excellence half colour. And 2016, academic excellence. Congratulations to Benjamin. <laughs> Angus Taylor, OP1. Angus studied for eight years at BBC, first as a Viking in the junior school, and then as a member of Bertel's House. Angus is reading for a degree of Bachelor of Medical Science at Griffiths University. In 2012, Angus received academic excellence. In 2013 and 2014, academic excellence with line. 2015, academic excellence with half colour. And 2016, academic excellence. Congratulations, Angus. <clears throat> Alexander Thomas, OP1. Alexander studied for eight years at BBC, first as a crusader in the junior school, and then as a member of Knox House. Alexander is reading for a degree of Bachelor of Advanced Finance and Economics with Honours at the University of Queensland. He is the recipient of the University of Queensland Vice-Chancellor's Scholarship. His role reads 2011 Academic Excellence and Academic Ducks and that achievement was repeated in 2012, 2013 and 2014. 2015 Academic Excellence with Half Colour, Academic Ducks, 2016 Academic Excellence and Alexander was the Ducks of the College in 2016. Congratulations, Alexander. <laughs> Jacob White, OP1. Jacob studied for five years at BBC as a member of Weller House. Jacob is reading for a degree of Doctor of Medicine MD at the University of Queensland. In 2012, 2013 and 2014, Jacob received academic excellence with line. In 2015, academic excellence half colour. And in 2016, he received academic excellence. Congratulations to Jacob. Rafa Youssef, OP1. Rafa studied for nine years at BBC, first as a Viking in the junior school and then as a member of Mackenzie House. Rafa is reading for a degree of Bachelor of Medicine, Bachelor of Surgery, MWBS, at James Cook University. In 2012, 2013 and 2014, Rafa achieved academic excellence with line. In 2016, he achieved academic excellence. Congratulations, Rafa. Heinian Yu, OP1. Heinian studied for five years at BBC as a member of Weller House. 
Heinian is reading for a degree of Bachelor of Honours, uh, Music, sorry, Bachelor of Music Honours, and Doctor of Medicine MD at the University of Queensland. Heinian received in 2012, 2013, and 2014 academic excellence with line. In 2015, academic excellence half colour. 2016, academic excellence. And Heinian, of course, was the college vice captain in 2016. Congratulations, Heinian. William Yule, OP1. William studied for six years at BBC as a member of Knox House. William is uh, reading for a degree of Bachelor of Engineering with Honours and a Bachelor of Science at the University of Queensland. In 2012, 2013 and 2014, William received Academic Excellence with Line. In 2015, Academic Excellence Half Colour. And 2016, Academic Excellence. Congratulations, William. Connor Barry, OP2. Connor studied for seven years at BBC, first as a gladiator in the junior school and then as a member of Weller House. Connor is reading for a degree of Doctor of Medicine MD at the University of Queensland. In 2011, 2012, 2013 and 2014, Connor received academic excellence with Lyon. In 2016, he achieved academic excellence. Congratulations, Connor. Angus Briggs, OP2. Angus studied for seven years at BBC as a knight in the junior school and then as a member of Wesley House. Angus is uh, reading for a degree of Bachelor of Actuarial Science at Bond University. In 2011, 2012, 2013 and 2014, he received academic excellence with Line. In 2016, he received academic excellence. Congratulations to Angus. William Sharesco, OP2. William studied for five years at BBC as a member of Flint House. William is reading for a degree of Bachelor of Economics and Bachelor of Science at the University of Queensland. William received uh, in 2012, 2013 and 2014 academic excellence with Lyme. In 2015, academic excellence half colour and 2016, academic excellence. Congratulations to William. Our next scholar cannot be with us today because he's currently in the United States on an AFL tour. That's Jack Clayton, who received an OP2. Jack studied for five years at BBC as a member of Flint House. He's reading for a degree of Bachelor of Exercise and Sports Science with Honours at the University of Queensland. Jack received in 2012, 2013 and 2014 academic excellence with Lyon and in 2016 academic excellence. In his absence, could you please congratulate Jack? James Freeburn, OP2. James studied for eight years at BBC as a member of uh, Flynn House, earlier as a Viking in the junior school. James is reading for a degree of Bachelor of Advanced Science with honours at the University of Queensland, and he received academic excellence in 2016. Congratulations to James. <laughs> Thomas Gale, OP2. Thomas studied for five years at BBC as a member of Weller House. Thomas is reading for a degree in Bachelor of Health Sciences and in Dentistry and Master of Dentistry at the La Trobe University. Thomas received academic excellence in 2013 and academic excellence with Line in 2014. Congratulations, Thomas. Hamish Gummersall, OP2. Hamish studied for eight years at BBC, uh, first as a crusader in the junior school and then as a member of Hamilton House. Hamish is reading for a degree of Bachelor of Physiotherapy with honours at the University of Queensland. In 2011, 2012, 2013 and 2014, Hamish received academic excellence with Lyon. Congratulations, Hamish. Dante Harp, OP2. 
Dante studied for 10 years at BBC, first as a crusader in the junior school and then as a member of Campbell House. Dante is reading for a degree of Bachelor of Engineering with Honours and Bachelor of Mathematics at the University of Queensland. In 2014, he received academic excellence and 2015, academic excellence with half colour. Congratulations, Dante. Zachary Hayward, OP2. Zachary studied for seven years at BBC, uh, first as a crusader in the junior school and then as a member of Hamilton House. Zachary is reading a, for a degree of Bachelor of Commerce and Bachelor of Economics at the University of Queensland. In 2015, Zachary received academic excellence half colour and in 2016, academic excellence. Congratulations, Zachary. Our next recipient, our next scholar is, uh, cannot be with us today. He's currently Jack Arruing in the Outback, but in his absence, let's congratulate him. So that's Daniel Johnson, OP2. Uh, Daniel studied at BBC for nine years, uh, first as a crusader in junior school and then as a member of Hamilton House. He is reading for a degree of Bachelor of Biomedical Science and Bachelor of Economics at the University of Queensland. Uh, Daniel received uh, in 2013 and 2014 academic excellence with line, and in 2016, academic excellence. Congratulations to Daniel in his absence. <laughs> Our next scholar also cannot be with us today uh, and that is Jack Kibble, OP2. Jack studied for six years at BBC as a member of Hamilton House. Uh, Jack is reading for a degree of Bachelor of Engineering with Honours and Bachelor of Science at the University of Queensland. In 2013 he received academic excellence with line 2015 academic excellence with half colour and 2016 academic excellence in his absence. Can we congratulate Jack? <laughs> Braden Lowe, OP2. Braden has studied for eight years at BBC as a member of Vikings in junior school to begin with and then Bertels House. He is studying for a, a degree of Doctor of Medicine MD at the University of Queensland. Uh, Braden received academic excellence in 2012, 2014 and 2016. Congratulations to Braden. <laughs> Our next scholar cannot be with us today, he's currently overseas. That's Derek Mayo, OP2. Derek studied at BBC for six years as a member of McKenzie House. He is reading for a degree of Bachelor of Health Sciences in Dentistry and Master of Dentistry at La Trobe University. In 2012, 2013 and 2014, Derek received academic excellence with line and in 2016, academic excellence. In his absence, can we please congratulate Derek. <laughs> Callum McLaughlin, OP2. Callum studied at BBC for five years as a member of Wesley House. Callum is reading for a Bachelor of Engineering with Honours and Bachelor of Mathematics at the University of Queensland. In 2014 and 2016, Callum achieved academic achievement. Congratulations to Callum. Alexander Voltz, OP2. Alexander studied for five years at BBC as a member of Bertels House. Alexander is reading for a degree of Bachelor of Music with Honours of Bachelor of Arts at the University of Queensland. He is also the recipient of the University of Queensland Merit Scholarship. In 2015, uh, Alexander achieved academic excellence with half colour. In 2016, academic excellence. Congratulations to Alexander. <laughs> Dominic Walton, OP2. Dominic has studied at BBC for eight years, first as a knight in the junior school, then as a member of Flynn House. Dominic is reading for a degree of Bachelor of Commerce, Bachelor of Laws with Honours at the University of Queensland. In 2013 and 2014, he achieved academic excellence with line. And of course, Dominic in 2016 was the college captain. 
Congratulations to Dominic. Congratulations to our scholars. Can I ask if they take their seats now? Now at speech night in 2016, I announced one boy, and that was Alexander Thomas, as being a recipient of the Collegian Award. This award is the highest all-round honour the college can bestow upon a student. It is awarded for excellence in the academic, competitive, cultural and spiritual life of the college. Following our 2016 academic results, I am delighted today to announce a further eight recipients of this award for 2016. As I announce each of the recipients of the Collegian Award for 2016, I invite them in turn to come forward and receive their Collegian cap and plaque from the headmaster. And I will invite the assembly to acknowledge them, uh, each Collegian, individually. The first of our additional 2016 Collegians, Angus Briggs. Second recipient is absent today, but congratulations go to Jack Clayton. <laughs> Next we have Dante Harp. <laughs> Derek Mayo. Benjamin Stanley. <laughs> Alexander Voltz. <laughs> Dominic Walton. Honey and you. Can we please just congratulate those recipients once more? Would you stand if you're able as we share together in the benediction? And as we do that, particularly our senior students, years 10, 11 and 12, be inspired by the young men who are before you. Consider your dream. May God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit surprise each of us with vision and hope of what truly is possible in each of our lives. And may God challenge us to the depth of our core to dig deep and to discover energy, passion and determination to fulfil the dreams that he has placed upon our heart. In the name of the Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. Would you please be seated? <clears throat> 